That's resilience. But the music, you know, one of the most no, important. No, if someone like turns on Trophy Rush, I'm gonna get yeah, him. no, yeah. I was about to say I was, gonna, just, I was just gonna give him the just back throw the hand. Headset. I was gonna give him the back hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was ready to throw slaps. But okay, uh, Vrelo from Germany versus Samatar from the Netherlands. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a button check. Just go straight into it. Going straight into it, and I like the white, uh, the white uh, skin on Link. Underrated, uh, you know. Um, yeah, you don't, skin, I think. yeah, you don't see people use it that much. No, people tend to uh, gravitate towards edgy colors. Yeah, uh, well, we have a lot of edgy people here. <laughs> That's true. You know, or wanna be edgy people. <laughs> wanna be uh, mostly, yeah. Yeah, but this match was actually pretty unfamiliar to me. Like, when do you ever see this? Yeah, I, I haven't seen it play uh, out often, you know. You'd imagine Link wanna keep Diddy Kong at bay. But Diddy Kong does have that mid to semi long range option mm -hmm. in, in uh, the banana toss. Even a monkey flip can help out sometimes. And the so fair as well. The fair yeah. is a. Uh, yeah, quick, quick attack. Yeah, and kind of disjointed. True. But right. the down to the up smash, not quite it. Uh, Battlefield benefits for Verolo right now. But yeah, he got the, he's got him at, at the edge now. Definitely. So. And you saw, I like the way Samantar played that. First of all, he had a banana by the leg to kind of trap him there. And Verolo did not want to slip. slip. So he just went over it, but Samatar had uh, uh, another option waiting, which ended yep. in an up smash. And the kill. The up beat, not quite it. Um, but now, like, as I see, these players uh, got each other at the edge so much. Like, they, they love to, you know, just fight at the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just played risky. Definitely which, going in. Yeah, which I respect, you know. You, it's a best of five. You have enough time to, you know, adapt and change your uh, strategy. I mean, you know, you can both play uh, campy and defensive. You can both go in if you're confident in going in, so why not? Yeah, but, you know, it's Link and Diddy Kong. You have to, like, you have to see, like, how does my opponent play? Yeah. If he plays aggressive, I can do the same. If he is going to just wait, I have to not get in, because if I get in... Yeah, and I, and I do know of Samatar that he really is a player that likes to go in, likes yep. to be in your face and not give you any breathing. Yeah, room. he's a very, like, high-pressure player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like, yeah. You don't, you don't see that often these days. Like most of the play players now play very defensive. I think Varel is one of these players as well. Um, just as you know, the defensive. That likes to keep up. Uh, yeah, right. Keep you out and just play defensive and just force you to play his game. Yeah, that's kind of the the archetype that Link has. You know, yeah. he has all these great tools so uh, to keep you at a distance and rack up damage pretty quickly. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. You know the optimal way of playing Link. Okay. And yeah, right game. now, it's looking tense, and oh, the Ooh! banana actually messed the him banana. up! Yeah. Just messed him up! Bet betrayed by his own kind! Oh no. This might come back This, this might actually cost him the game, yeah. if Samatar doesn't find something out yeah, quick. Let's just hope it doesn't get into his head, and uh, you know, finds another way of, of being able to close it out. Ooh, the back air, did he get, did he got his jump? No, I don't think so. Oh, he did! Okay, bomb gonna explode bomb in favor of Samatar. The, the items just betray each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're playing for the op opposite team. Yeah. <laughs> they should just trade items, you know. Yeah. Link now has banana and Diddy has yeah, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you play Zelda, you see like the inventory, you see the arrow, and then you see the banana. Yeah, yeah, you see a banana so you peel. Just, you can just make it and slip yeah. and then... <laughs> you know, have you played Ocarina of Time? No, I'm too young for that. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean, there's a remake on the 3 But I have a very legal way of getting games, which is right. buying uh, stuff on the Dolphin emulator. Right. And, uh, <laughs> very legal. I'm very glad legal. this uh, stream isn't sponsored by Nintendo, otherwise uh, oh. we, we could say that sponsorship goodbye. <laughs> yeah, no. But, you know, what I was about to say is uh, Link does have some, you know, the tools from the game. But uh, the Deku Nut, I was just thinking of, yep. uh, actually Sheik has that. But the Deku Nut and the Ocarina of Time, I want to know if anybody ever used that, um, you know, in chat. But anyway, we are going uh, to Battlefield uh, once again. The and yeah, Samatar, uh, good on him that even though he kind of missed a, a, a kill setup, he still managed to, to pull through in the end. Um, yeah, he doesn't look like a player that uh, gets into his own app that much. Uh, he looks very, he looks like a very composed player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which, which is good. Like, mental game matters a lot in this game. When you don't play, like when you when you lose your mindset, you can just you know, yeah. you can lose to you can lose to anyone. Yeah, and he's easier. a positive player and person overall, you know. Yeah, uh, and he's also a very chill guy. Yeah, always takes uh, a loss uh, in a, in a good way. Yeah, that's true. 
which is the way of playing. Uh, but right now, Vurlo, uh has a draw read on the pivot grab. Oh, oh baby! But he, that's oh, a deep no, dunk right that's, there. <laughs> that's a dunk. Samatar. Uh, that's a five pointer. <laughs> like he was waiting for the air dodge and he did, just didn't see Vurlo air dodge and he was like, just oh, I'll just go for it. It's a nice play. And for a little, just recognizing, like I couldn't make it back. I'm just, I'm just letting myself do. Yeah, and this is a pretty fat lead that Samatar is going for himself. Yep. The way he has been playing, I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to end up in a two stock. Yeah, like Samatar, like game one was very close, I and mean, Samatar maybe found some, some habit or some strategy for himself. Uh, you know, to get into for a little's hat. Mm -hmm. There's for a little with the jab, jab. Into the up B, but at 99, 99, not going to be able to close out just yet. Nope, and that's also Battlefield that we're talking about. Yeah. Higher you ceilings, higher side last songs. And Link doesn't have the best uh, KO confirms in the game. You know, it does have his down throw into up air at, at some percentages on some characters, but uh, no extremely reliable way. Yeah, he pretty much has to, I guess, rely on, we go. yeah, you know, catching a landing or, uh, I guess, side tilt. Yeah. He does have some, some uh, his hitboxes are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, frame data also pretty good, but it's just uh, no ways no. of getting a, a, a small hit into a big That's hit. That's true. Which is why I see some pl people say I prefer Toon Link. Because he simply has that bomb or that boomerang into forward yep. air. And even something like uh, having a kill confirm, uh, I mean uh, a kill throw can make a pretty big difference. Oh yeah. Because I think Link has yep. one at like 190 100. or something, oh, no, no, or no, no, even no, that's above that. that. I think that's earlier. Uh, the earlier? Up throw, the yep. up throw. Okay. Um, it's at like 150, I think. Ah, right, okay. But it, yeah, that also depends on the weight and stuff. Yeah, and, and the rage, uh, he has. But either but way, not the best skill throw in the game. And Ooh, gotta slip out, out of that. just slips out of that. Yeah. We have Link with Max Rage. That's true. But that oh. uh, flip kick gonna send him far off the stage. If Virlo makes it back, I think an F smash at the ledge can actually kill Samatar. Yeah, maybe even a dash tag, I think. Yeah. Dash tag will do it. At yeah, and F smash for sure as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Samatar, you know, Vurlo is being pretty resilient. He has to, Samatar has to watch out. Oh, oh the bomb he saves him! God. The tables wow. have turned. Now the bomb actually helps him. Yeah. They're, they're best friends again. Yeah. They had beef. They had and beef, but <laughs> they made, made up. Yeah, they made up. Now and Vurlo is making the comeback. It was looking like a two stock, but Vurlo with 195% being very resilient. And Samatar finally found the four there, and he takes game two as well. Yeah. So that's a uh, 2-0 lead in the set for Samatar. And Vurlo, you know, I think he also plays. Lucio? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think he plays uh, some other characters as well. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, I, I thought he played Lucina. I'm not sure. Uh, though. Um, for me, he's known as a as a, as a link. That he plays now, so let's see. You know, Verlol is meditating. Yeah, that that's a good that's that's a good way. Yeah, because he knows. Um, you know, reverse real can happen. That's definitely true. But when we look how the last game went, is Samtar ha had a very big lead. Yeah. Then Verlol was was finding the cracks in his defense, his offense, and really made a good comeback. But it was uh, the lead was uh, the gap was already so big. Yeah, it was too late. That you know, even a fair from Diddy. Uh, did it? Yeah. So now he, he's probably thinking like, what did I do wrong? How can I, how can I improve my strategy? Yeah. Uh, maybe he has some some kind of plan. I wouldn't really go back to Battlefield. Yeah. He's opting to go Town of City. Uh, has been I think he, he has been KO'd mostly off of the side, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, so it um, benefits for both uh, both of these characters. Pretty much Diddy Kong with the up smash. So let's see, let's see what Vorlul has in his uh, in his inventory. At this point, it's uh, bombs, boomerangs, and uh, a few arrows, and sometimes a swing, just like that. Okay. Some of our places that banana always so well. Like every time, if if Vorlul is off stage, you know, some of our has a banana right in place. Yeah. To make uh, to make it harder for Vorlul to get back. Yeah, and I mean, he, he recognizes that Link doesn't have the best tools to get back to stage. Uh, pretty, pretty limited uh, in his ways. Yeah. But uh, right now, Verlo found something because uh, it's going by pretty even. Um, there goes the fair. Nice DI by Samatar. No up air though. Uh, maybe he was expecting the DI out. Not sure. 
but okay. it's going by pretty even. Um, I think if Samatar takes the first stock, it's going to be a huge relief for him. Ooh! But oh, just that dash attack, and he got the banana as well. Now, that's what I call ballsy. You know, Lick's dash attack, like, if that move hits, it's scary. <laughs> Yeah, I remember in the 3DS demo, that's all I was spamming. Just link no. dash attack, link dash attack. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh, the bomb The bomb actually says Whirlall again. Uh, but yeah, Samatar got, got him at that ledge. I think like that's the... Samatar has his most like damage and kills off of that ledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's actually first time Whirlall with it, having the lead, but that lead is gonna be uh, eliminated yep. immediately. Uh, Samatar with only 31% on him. And Diddy Kong can close that gap quickly. Yep. But Verlol is kind of, you know, he's trying to build that wall again. And it's actually like, the difference from game two and three is that it's harder for Samatar to get in. Look at that. Like the wall of bombs. What do you do? Even the Zairs, you know, just keeping him out way better than the last two games. Yeah. Right here, Summitar finding a way in, but just ate, ate a boomerang at uh, point blank. Surprised to see that. And Furlo, uh, okay, that was a strange interaction. The down throw? Oh, tries to get the air dodge. I think he was looking for an up smash or up smash. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, banana into oh. the air! Into the fair, alright. Will he Furlo. get the ledge guard? This might be the game that, uh, you know, turns this set around. You know, momentum shifts. Uh huh. Oh, ooh, that half smash was very scary. <laughs> okay, I like the idea, but uh, Samtar gonna be slightly out of range for that. Ooh, and that up B. Oh, the side tilt, that's it. Verlo takes the third game. That meditation worked out for him. It did, it did. Also, the stage. Um, and yeah, in this matchup, the lead uh, or who takes the first off can be pretty important. Because yeah. this gave him the time, you know, having the lead to hang back, play his projectile game instead of having uh, to be, you know, in, in a range where Diddy can do his stuff. Mm -hmm. I look at Verlo, he was just meditating again. He was just like, okay, I got that game, but it's not over yet. You know, he still has a lot of work to do. Yeah. And he knows it, he still has two. Two games to take on a counter pick from uh, from Samatar. Yep. Um, yeah. Let's see. Samatar doesn't look, you know, he doesn't look flustered or something. No, no, he no. He looks pretty composed. Yeah. Because it's it's not like he suddenly got completely destroyed no, no. or anything like that. It was it no, was still a close game. It was pretty game. close, yeah. Yeah. So there's no like. Big plan, uh, big uh, you know strategy changes he needs to make. It's more about winning un uh, winning neutral one or two more times, yep. basically, or getting that edge guard. Yeah, uh, what I saw from Perlo that he was like, he was like doing way better at just keeping Samator out. Yeah. So let's see. The headsets are up. All right, we're go going into game four. On town again. Okay. Yeah, so Battlefield is off the table. Uh, of course, what what we have here is one ban and DSR in play. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Uh, that might have been a misinput, or just he tried to catch the monkey flip. Like, I really like arrows. They're, it's not that good of a move, but, you know, when the opponent misses a stack, you can just charge yeah. the arrow. And yeah, it's pretty situational. Or, or a nice, uh, you know, snipe off stage uh, can yep. happen on a uh, character that has a, a, a oh, yeah. linear recovery. And especially if the Diddy Kong has to use the barrels at some kind of, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. some kind of area. Or for example, villagers' balloons just pop them. <laughs> right. Oh, that yeah. was a nice attempt. Went for a hard read and some are going for a hard punish, but they're gonna get it uh, grabbed. Ooh, doesn't get quite punished for it, but he loses the ledge. Um, miscalculated pivot grab from Verlo. Yeah, for Verlo has been throwing out a lot of uh, grabs, and it yeah. can be pretty dangerous with someone like Link. Ooh, beautiful weight, but slightly off on the execution part. Oh, <laughs> it just rolls right into the banana and slips. 
Uh, right now, it's looking like a quite even game. Uh, banana conversion or like a side tilt or a forward air. Like a lot of stuff can steal the deal. Ooh, uh, almost even that up B doing it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they're just waiting. Oh, that was a nice bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Furlal like has come alive after his first win. And he's just getting into Samatar's head, I think. You know, Samatar is like very unpatient now. He's just running up and shielding. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he, he is an aggressive player, like we uh, yeah, mentioned, mentioned earlier. Yeah. But that um, that aggression can turn into impatience when you're down. Yeah. Now when you're up and, and you can get your aggressive playstyle down, it's great. Yeah. But it's when amazing. you're when you're down, it quickly turns into impatience. And when your opponent catches onto that, it can go downhill quickly. That's true. And especially a character like Link that keeps you out. Uh, you know, you can benefit a lot from that if uh, Samatar decides to play too impatient. Yeah, but now the stocks are even again and the percentages almost as well. <laughs> Samatar gonna throw a banana oh. peel to the bomb! And that's it! And Burlal with that mid set pop off, he's pumped. That he definitely is. Alright, alright. That was a beautiful. And ending. you can also, uh, well, you guys can see it, but we can see, you know, the German crowd. Yeah. A little bit. But a reverse trio could happen, as I said. But it's looking you know, uh, like it. Yeah, but Samator doesn't look flustered. And there we have the TO. Look at Muck. And El Jefe. Is yeah, I think they're discussing uh, DSR and uh, how it's implemented. It might be uh, the. How do you call it? The adjusted DSR, where you only can't go back to the last stage you won on. Um, yeah, that would. That, I think that's normal. Even though I miss Duck Hunt. I really miss Duck Hunt. You miss Duck Hunt? Yeah, yeah, the stage. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially in doubles, because in, in doubles, it's a yeah. pretty viable stage. In I my could opinion. kill people with Aether at zero. Okay, enough about <laughs> killing people at zero. Nobody Game wants to see that. Five. Oh, all right. And a town is is not where we are going. Nope. Uh, this is gonna be tense. Verlo is very pumped. You know, he found you know he found his composure back. That meditation ga uh, after game two really helped him. So and he's meditating me meditating again. Wow, my words. Alright, Dreamland. Dreamland is our final destination of this set, 2-2. Two, two. The winner makes it out of pools. Yeah, I was about to say, who's gonna make it out of pools right here? And the loser is gonna drown and drink a lot of water. Drown sounds so, sounds so negative, you know? You still Actually, made a lose score. Yeah, that's true. You played well. Actually, yeah, that's true. What? Okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't have to take things so negative. Even though I'm not like a negative guy. Exactly. But you know, it, I, I make things sound so negative. We've got two players you know. playing their heart out here. Yeah. And, you know, if you can make it this far in, in <laughs> tournament like this, you know, yeah. you've done a lot. But right now, uh, you know, it's looking like a quite even game. But Samatar has Verlol yet again at the ledge. But Verlol managed to make it back with that bomb. Okay, the bomb gonna explode. See, Samatar trying to keep the jungle position yeah, going. Yeah, he's just he's just not letting Verlo pull out any any projectile mm. whatsoever. And Verlo has been really on point with that uh, spin attack. Yep. Okay. Ooh. He always no, goes yeah. for the fair instead of up air. I'm surprised. Uh, maybe he's nervous, so he misses or possibly, sure. or maybe you know he's the link main, and we don't know there what you. we're talking about. So yeah, he so probably has a reason for it. Or pressing a lot of wrong buttons, but, but Samatar. He takes the first stock, and he that does. is almost a reverse 3 0. Yeah. Um, at the verge with Samatar, not quite out of this yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically been always who takes the first stock, basically takes the game. Uh, so Samatar has to put in some work to make that prophecy not happen. Yeah. But the fair, is the bomb gonna kill him? Oh no, he just threw it away. That's a smart choice. Alright, the banana can connect, but that sword. Oh, there goes the bomb! And he makes it back! Yeah, he does. Yo. Those secret link tricks. Oh, he tries to go for it. I respect the choice. Ooh, watch your shield, Samatar. Watch Ooh, your shield. That was that poke. shield poke. The you German crowd is uh, kind of going wild. Okay. Oh. 
We also oh. hear the Dutch crowd in the background. Yeah, the Dutch crowd just rows back. All right, only the final hit gonna connect, so, you know, not a lot of percent. And there you go, Samtor with the opening. Ooh! Oh, almost gets it! I love that idea, but Yo. gonna be it, barely off the yeah, mark right there. Yeah, it was there. nice, the eye from Pirillol. If he would've yeah. died wrong, that would've been it. Samator gets his damage back. It's looking very tense, but gets the fair. Samator off stage. Yeah, already burning oh. his jump, so no jump. Still have the, uh, still has a monkey flip. Vril. Okay, gonna go for an up throw, oh. up air. Samator, get that damage. Yeah, with the advantage, can he keep it? It's looking very close. And oh, the shield! The shield he just grabs the shield! And the double up air! Vril! Powers up! You know they say doing nothing can be the best strategy sometimes. Verlo proving that, you know, just grab.